Hello Deutschlerner! Wohl compounds or wohl composita are a type of question word that are made up of a preposition and a prefix wohl. For example, you can add mit to wohl to make it wohl mit, which is like asking with what. These kinds of question words are often taught alongside their statement counterparts da compounds or da composita. Let's explore what these words are, how to form them, how to use them, and why you should learn to love them. These words can be formed using a large percentage of the prepositions in the German language, but for today we're going to be focusing on the rules and general use of them. In future videos I will focus on the various groups of prepositions within the German language. The words we're talking about today are a combination of either da or wo with a preposition to create a kind of adverb. Adverbs are little words that modify the way in which something happens within the sentence, which can tell us about the time, the conditions, or a whole lot of other things about the action of the sentence. Since these words function as adverbs, when you use a da compound, they go where the adverb goes in a statement, after the verb that they modify. Generally, you can translate a da compound with a preposition used followed by that. Wo compounds follow a similar pattern, but are a type of question word, so they are followed by what. Let's take a look at a few examples of how this works to figure out exactly what I'm talking about in more concrete terms. Was machst du mit dem Bleistift? What are you doing with the pencil? Was machst du mit dem Bleistift? Ich schreibe damit. I'm writing with that. Ich schreibe damit. Womit schreibst du? With what are you writing? Womit schreibst du? Mit dem Bleistift. With the pencil. Mit dem Bleistift. Mit is by far one of the easiest prepositions in the German language to translate into English. With very few exceptions, you can translate mit as with. When we add in da, it becomes with that. When combined with wo, it translates as with what. You can think of this as abbreviating a prepositional phrase. Instead of repeating the phrase over and over again of mit dem Bleistift, we can simply replace it with da mit. When asking a question about this prepositional phrase, we can ask wo mit. When you combine da or wo with a preposition that starts with a vowel, such as über or an, you need to add an r between the prefix and the preposition. For example, über becomes darüber and worüber, while an becomes daran and woran. Here are what they look like in sentences. Worüber sprecht ihr gerade? What are you talking about right now? Worüber sprecht ihr gerade? Meine Hündin hat gestern Welpen bekommen. Darüber sprechen wir. My dog had puppies yesterday. We're talking about that. Meine Hündin hat gestern Welpen bekommen. Darüber sprechen wir. Woran denkst du gerade? What are you thinking about right now? Woran denkst du gerade? Erinnerst du dich immer noch an dieses Restaurant, in dem wir zu unserem 14. Hochzeitstag gegessen haben? Das Steak war so lecker. Daran denke ich. Do you still remember that restaurant at which we ate for our 14th wedding anniversary? The steak was so delicious. I'm thinking about that. Erinnerst du dich immer noch an dieses Restaurant, in dem wir zu unserem 14. Hochzeitstag gegessen haben? Das Steak war so lecker. Daran denke ich. There are a few things to keep in mind while working with these da and wo compounds. Number one, these compounds are not used for people or animals. It's perfectly fine to use them with inanimate objects, but it's not okay to use a da or wo compound for a person or an animal. Worauf wartest du? What are you waiting for? Worauf wartest du? Ich warte auf mein Paket. Ich warte seit gestern darauf. I'm waiting for my package. I've been waiting for that since yesterday. Ich warte auf mein Paket. Ich warte seit gestern darauf. Auf wen wartest du? For whom are you waiting? Auf wen wartest du? Ich warte auf meinen Bruder. Ich warte stundenlang auf ihn. I'm waiting for my brother. I've been waiting for him for hours. Ich warte auf meinen Bruder. Ich warte stundenlang auf ihn. Number two. While a lot of the da and wo compounds are simply translated as that or what added to the usual prepositional translation, this is not always the case and some of the da and wo compounds take on an entirely new translation all their own. I mentioned da mit earlier. It can have the basic translation that I used before with that, but it can also take on a similar meaning to so that. For example, Ich esse jeden Morgen Frühstück, damit ich nicht vor Mittag Hunger habe. I eat breakfast every morning so that I don't get hungry before midday. Ich esse jeden Morgen Frühstück, damit ich nicht vor Mittag Hunger habe. Number three. If you're familiar with relative pronouns, you cannot replace them with da compounds. For example, Der Kuli, mit dem ich den Brief geschrieben habe, 
liegt auf dem Tisch. The pen with which I wrote the letter is lying on the table. Der Kuli, mit dem ich den Brief geschrieben habe, liegt auf dem Tisch. No one would say der Kuli, damit ich den Brief geschrieben habe. On the other hand, if you have the combination of was and a preposition, this will always be replaced by a wo compound. For example, worüber bist du traurig? What are you sad about? Worüber bist du traurig? No one would say, über was bist du traurig? Number four. While you can use da and wo compounds with most prepositions, there are some combinations that are more commonly used than others, and some prepositions simply cannot be used in da and wo compounds. There are four categories of prepositions in German. Accusative prepositions, dative prepositions, two-way prepositions, and genitive prepositions. I have videos about all of those prepositions linked in the description so that you can learn about what they all mean and how to use them outside of these da and wo compounds when you're done with this video. For a quick reference, on screen now you will see a list of prepositions in each of the categories and whether or not they can be used with da and wo compounds. You'll notice that none of the genitive prepositions can be used in da and wo compounds, and there are a few accusative and dative prepositions that can't be used. All of the two-way prepositions, however, can be used with da and wo compounds. Here's a quick reference guide for all of the German prepositions in each category that can be used with da and wo compounds, and what they generally are translated as in English. Let's take a look at a few of the most commonly used da and wo compounds so we understand the concept more fully. I'll take a deeper dive into the da and wo compounds in each category of prepositions in future videos. Woran arbeitest du heute? On what are you working today? Woran arbeitest du heute? Mein Fahrrad ist kaputt. Ich arbeite daran. My bicycle is broken. I'm working on that. Mein Fahrrad ist kaputt. Ich arbeite daran. Woran ist er gestorben? What did he die of? Woran ist er gestorben? Er hat seit sechs Monaten Krebs. Er ist daran gestorben. He has had cancer for six months. He died of that. Er hat seit sechs Monaten Krebs. Er ist daran gestorben. Worauf muss man in Deutschland achten? What does one have to pay attention to in Germany? Worauf muss man in Deutschland achten? Die Fahrkarten für öffentliche Verkehrsmittel sind manchmal kompliziert. Darauf muss man achten. The tickets for public transportation are sometimes complicated. You have to pay attention to that. Die Fahrkarten für öffentliche Verkehrsmittel sind manchmal kompliziert. Darauf muss man achten. Wovon träumst du nachts? What do you dream of at night? Wovon träumst du nachts? Ich mag essen. Ich träume davon. I like food. I dream of that. Ich mag essen. Ich träume davon. Er hat gestern mit mir Schluss gemacht und er lachte dabei. He broke up with me yesterday and he laughed all the while. Er hat gestern mit mir Schluss gemacht und er lachte dabei. Ich hätte gern eine Bratwurst und auch noch eine große Portion Pommes dazu. I would like a bratwurst and also a large serving of french fries with it. Ich hätte gern eine Bratwurst und auch noch eine große Portion Pommes dazu. Obviously, I haven't given enough examples throughout this video, and I haven't gone into as much detail as I would like. This is why this is just the first of a series of videos about these compounds. Rather than make one video that's an hour long about these words, I will make another three videos to cover the accusative, dative, and two-way prepositions that can be used like this. This video is just a quick overview of how to use these words. If you have questions about anything in this video, write your questions in the comments down below. If you're watching this video and it is already more than a week old, the next video in the series is linked right over here. If you're watching this video and it just came out in the last few days, you can click over here to see my playlist full of videos about the prepositions in German. Das ist alles für heute. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!